Good morning, Trinity. I'm Reverend Catherine Fluck Price. And I'm Steve Price. And we are so excited to be coming back to Trinity to serve as your co-pastors. You all are uh, preparing over the next weeks to say goodbye to a pastor uh, with whom you have served and whom you have loved uh, for many years now. Uh, and we are doing the same thing with a congregation that we have had the privilege of serving alongside and, and loving here in Bradenton, Florida, Harvest United Methodist. Um, and we know that in this time, uh, God is taking good care of you all and taking good care of us. Uh, and we look forward to what is ahead as we prepare to come and serve with you uh, beginning later this summer. Some of you may know that Trinity is actually my home church. My family moved to Gainesville when I was about 18 months old and lived over on the east side of town and began attending Trinity. I remember growing up and being a part of Sunday school and the youth ministry, going on trips and mission trips, being part of, of Sunlight. Uh, all of those things were very formative to my foundation in, in faith. You know, I'm so excited for uh, Catherine and for what it will mean for her to come back home to Trinity. Uh, but you should also know that Trinity has been an important part of my formation as a follower of Christ and as an ordained minister. Uh, my first time being with you at Trinity uh, was when Catherine and I were in college and I came down to visit this young woman who I had fallen in love with. And I spent a Christmas Eve service there in the sanctuary on 8th Avenue. And it was such a powerful first opportunity for me to experience the love and the faithfulness of the Trinity people. Uh, and then it was just a year and a half after that that we were married there in that same sanctuary. In my first year of seminary, Trinity invited me to come home and to preach. And so I preached the very first sermon ever uh, on the Sunday after Christmas, 1988. Uh, I was scared to death. I really wanted to pretend that I was going to be sick and run out of the space, um, but I know that that's what God has called me to do, and um, it will be wonderful to be able to come home and to preach again and to share in ministry with you all. We also look forward to letting you get to know the rest of our family as well. Uh, we have a daughter, Shelby, and a son, Sid. Uh, they are no longer in the house with us on a regular basis because uh, one of them, Shelby, is uh, a recent graduate of Furman University and uh, is in her first year of teaching through Teach for America. She lives in Lake City, South Carolina and is having a powerful experience there in her first year working with seventh graders. And our son Sid is in his freshman year of college at Mercer University. One of the things that we're excited about is being a little bit closer to both of them as we come to Trinity and that moves us further up I-75 uh, and closer to our kids so that we can go see them and so they can come see us and get to know you. Uh, and then the other member of our family that certainly you will enjoy getting to know is Teddy, our golden doodle, his, who is just a barrel of fun. We know that Dan has a very special place in your hearts and we anticipate that he will keep that very special place in his hearts in your hearts and look forward to you making room in your hearts for us as well. One of the things we became clear about early on in our marriage and ministry was how our gifts complement each other. And so to be able to serve together for these past 19 years with the people of Harvest and now to think about bringing our gifts to Trinity uh, and in, in using them alongside your gifts as we work together to continue building the kingdom in Gainesville and beyond. You know, Trinity has a reputation that extends far beyond your immediate community for the work that you are doing to make a difference through ministry and mission. And it will be a privilege for us to serve as your co-pastors during this next phase of the journey. So enjoy celebrating these next few weeks as you think about the many rich memories that you have of the time that you have had as a congregation with Dan. And we'll look forward to being with you later this summer.